Hey guys, welcome to the 11th video on this channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I DIY'd the drums for East to West's cover of On by BTS. If you saw the video on the channel, you'll know that unfortunately due to Corona, the girls weren't able to film the full cover for this dance. But I did have this footage lying around since February, so I figured I would show you guys how I made the drums anyway. So let's get right to it. I spent a lot of time trying to figure out what would be the best bass for the drums, and I decided to go for a cement form tube. These are basically just really big cardboard tubes that builders use to pour cement in and create columns for houses or buildings. So I went to the home renovation store and picked one up. I originally went alone, but it was really big and it didn't fit in my car, nor was I able to take it off the shelf. So I enlisted the help of my dad who brought a saw and cut it in front of the store so that it would be able to fit in my car. The next step was to cut them down to size. I don't remember what the sizes are exactly right now, but I know there's a clip coming up where I say the measurements. The biggest cut was for the actual drum base. And then the two smaller cuts were for any extra detailing or metal silver parts. I also bought some dowels that we cut as well for some more extra details. These are all the pieces. So these are uh, 9 inches high. These are 1.75 and then these are uh, 0.5 of an inch. Now that we have everything prepped, we'll move on to the actual construction of them. The first thing I did was cover the uh, detail cuts with some duct tape. It's like kind of like a sticky aluminum foil. I only discovered this because I was browsing the hardware store and it seemed like a good idea since it was more metallic than say using paint or spray paint or just regular duct tape. Again, I don't really know what it's for. I'm pretty sure it's just for like heavy duty ducting. I cut strips of tape to size and stuck them on. I rolled them around, used the back of my X-Acto knife and pushed it against the floor to get out any wrinkles the best I could. The tape is pretty unforgiving so it didn't come out as smooth as I had wanted or hoped for so maybe that's something to keep in mind if you're going to be using this. Not that anyone's going to be recreating this but I don't know. The next step was the half inch strips. Because they're so thin, when my dad was cutting them with the table saw, the outside paper layer was starting to peel off. So I just trimmed that off to make sure I had as smooth as a surface as I could. We're going to do the same thing for the tape, except I cut the tape in half lengthwise. I do this because I didn't want it to have too much excess tape hanging out. So I'm just roughly measuring out the size and then I cut it in half vertically. And of course, the drums are black, so all I did for that was to spray paint it black. I lay down a drop sheet and spray away. Clearly, one layer was not opaque enough, so I did one layer just for now. And back inside, we continue with the detailing. For the dowels, I'm using them for the lines on the side. I clearly don't know my drum anatomy very well, and I'm just too lazy to google it right now. But yes, I cut the tape to size of the dowels and wrap each dowel. Actually, I cut the tape in half vertically and then wrapped each dowel. I knew I was going to be gluing down one side of the drum, so it would be fine if the dowel was only half covered. And once the first layer was dry enough, I went ahead and added a second layer of spray paint. And it's pretty opaque. Okay, so I finally went to Google drum anatomy because, yeah, it was getting out of hand. This is the part where I make the batter head. I use some foam board from the dollar store and I use the hoops as my template for sizing. I traced out 12 batter heads, two for each drum, one on top, one at the bottom. And this proved to be the hardest part of the drum making, as I'm horrible at cutting circles. And I also guess my knife wasn't sharp enough or something, but yeah. It looks like it's pretty smooth sailing at five times speed, but I was struggling. 
Yeah, okay, so I don't even know if all of this is interesting or making sense to anyone. Sorry if it doesn't. So next I'm gluing down the half inch strip to the 1.75 inch strip. This is mostly just for detailing so that there would be a bit more dimension to the drum. Since the drum is very clearly fake, I wanted to at least do some extra details wherever I could. I'm using my hot glue gun and some binder clips as placeholders and just gluing them together. Drums are generally glossy or shiny and my spray paint was not, so I went ahead and got a couple of rolls of cellophane from my lovely trip to the dollar store. I cut the rolls so that the roll, one roll, so that the cellophane would be just long enough to cover the base of the drum. That way it gave it a nice gloss. I'm not sure why I went for this method instead of getting like a varnish or something. Present time Mo is not sure what February Mo was thinking. I guess maybe I figured this would just be easier and less messy and pretty much a foolproof shine. I don't know. I just used some scotch tape, which will get covered by the dowel to tape them down. And speaking of the dowels, I'm creating a template here to mark where I need to place the dowels because knowing me, I need a really simple method to not mess this up. So this was that foolproof method. I transferred the template onto an extra hoop that I had and this is how I used it. I put on the hoop, the template, and glue down the dowels exactly where the marks are. Easy. Looking back, I probably would have used a different glue or more glue. I think with the combination of the cellophane and hot glue with the roundness of the dowels, plus dancing in what felt like freezing temperatures, I think half the dowels fell off during filming. So maybe next time I would use like more glue, maybe E6000. I've never tried E6000, but I'm kind of excited for the day that I do. Sorry, this video is getting long. <laughs> I'm sorry. The next part is attaching the batter head. I used leftover foam pieces from an old cosplay and I'm cutting small pieces out. These are gonna act as stoppers for the batter head. The batter head will be sitting on these foam pieces to prevent the batter head from like falling through the drum. I don't know, I couldn't think of any other way to keep it up. So this part here is what my initial plan was to keep the batter head up. It was to put a bunch of like newspaper or whatever so that there'd be some stability from the inside. I only did it with one drum and realized it was a dumb idea. So to the backup that had the one drum that was filled with garbage, my bad. All right, so we're back with the mesh piece from Chinese Dun Dun outfit. We're really making use of this mesh piece. So we're just gonna make some straps to hang the drums around the neck. To attach the straps, I made marks on the inside of the drum using a random ass drill bit I found in the garage to pierce the hole, and then using an X-Acto knife to widen the hole. And then threaded the strap through. I also added a key ring to the end of the strap from the inside. This was just a safety measure and to add like an anchor to hold the strap more securely. Also, I added an extra layer of duct tape at the top because as you can see from the one in the back, you could see the cardboard interior from the inside of the drum, which was really ugly. So I added an extra layer on all of them. And finally, putting the glue on the green foam stoppers and putting all the batter heads on. Actually, the last step was to use smaller pieces of the tape to cover up any ugly parts or that big ass gap on the side. And that's it. That was the whole project. They're far from perfect and they kind of look like the takeout trays from Chinatown, but as my motto always says, the DIY looks good until you get too close. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to check out the girls half cover slash vlog over on the East West YouTube channel. Thanks for watching!